right so now I'm going to remove this cover here which of course covers the CPU now whenever you're removing it you actually unscrews the screw diagonal so, so screw number one you actually pull it halfway up and of course diagonal across halfway up now move towards this one and screw it halfway up move there halfway up now I'm gonna unscrew this one fully number two over there fully third one over here fully now and of course the fourth one over here fully now you actually remove the screws this way simply because they don't want to damage um, the processor or your motherboard uh, before I remove that I need to remove this keyboard that connect right Alright, so the processor the thermal compound is a bit messy. So now I need to use thermal material remover. I'm gonna remove that all thermal compound on it. to but best or better performance it is best to remove all of the old thermal compound entirely rather than mixing it with the new one that you're going to apply I'm using a piece of something plastic to remove the Messy section at the side of the processor. You don't want to use anything metallic or anything too rough. Clean it some more. If I can get rid of most of it, especially the top surface so the surface is pretty much clean try to get rid of some more of thermal compound at the side Of course, a little bit of thermal compound at the side, not going to arm it. It is the top surface which is very important, this shiny section. You don't want to leave any, of, any at all because you want to ensure that that surface is really level. So, that can do it, that should do it. Now, I'm going to remove the old one also from this metallic section here that this is a part that covers the processor itself perfectly clean uh, the